Elon Musk just said the following on social media. I often wonder where consciousness starts as we progress from one cell to 35 trillion cells. If the standard model is correct, then quarks and leptons become conscious no later than 13.8 billion years from the start, assuming there are no sentient aliens. For those who don't know what this means, the inquiry into the origins and emergence of scientists are actively exploring the idea of extraterrestrial life, but as of now, there is no definitive proof of the existence of advanced civilizations. However, considering the immense expanse of the universe, it is conceivable that sentient beings might exist. The question of advanced life has captivated humanity for centuries, fueling scientific inquiries, popular culture, and philosophical debates. While the existence of advanced beings remains unconfirmed, scientists and researchers have theorized the likelihood of their existence based on scientific knowledge and probabilities. One fundamental factor that increases the likelihood of advanced life is the sheer size and abundance of celestial bodies in the universe. Current estimates suggest there are approximately two trillion galaxies, each housing millions to billions of stars. Many of these stars are likely to have orbiting planets. The Kepler Space Telescope's data suggests that there could be as many as 40 billion Earth-sized planets orbiting in the habitable zones of sun-like stars and red dwarfs in the Milky Way alone. The concept of the habitable zone, or Goldilocks zone, where conditions are just right, not too hot, not too cold, for liquid water to exist, significantly narrows down potential locations for life as we understand it. Water is a fundamental prerequisite for life on Earth, and its presence in other parts of the universe increases the probability of life existing elsewhere. Moreover, the discovery of extremophiles on Earth, organisms that thrive in conditions previously thought to be inhospitable, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents, or highly acidic or radioactive environments, expands our understanding of where life could potentially exist. This suggests that life might be more adaptable and versatile than previously assumed, increasing the likelihood that it could take root in various corners of the universe. In addition, the field of astrobiology investigates the origins and possibilities of life in the universe. Key findings, such as the discovery of organic molecules, the building blocks of life, in comets, asteroids and on Mars, provide tantalizing hints that the ingredients for life are widespread throughout the cosmos. On the other hand, despite these encouraging factors, we must consider the Fermi paradox, proposed by physicist Enrico Fermi. Given the high probability of extraterrestrial life, the paradox questions why we have yet to encounter any clear evidence or signals from such civilizations. Possible solutions range from the limitations of our current technology and the vastness of space-time distances to the notion that advanced civilizations might self-destruct or exist in ways we cannot fathom. The vastness of the cosmos has fascinated humanity for centuries, inspiring us to ponder the existence of other intelligent beings in the universe. Are we alone, or are there advanced civilizations flourishing in distant corners of the cosmos? While definitive answers remain elusive, the growing body of scientific knowledge and the tantalizing possibilities offered by the Drake Equation suggest that advanced civilizations could indeed exist beyond our planet. One influential framework in the study of advanced civilizations is the Drake Equation, proposed by astrophysicist Frank Drake in 1961. This equation attempts to estimate the number of technologically advanced civilizations in our galaxy by considering factors such as the rate of star formation, the fraction of stars with planets, the likelihood of life emerging on suitable planets, and the probability of intelligent life evolving. While the values assigned to these factors remain speculative, the Drake Equation stimulates a broader discussion about the existence of advanced civilizations in the cosmos. Astrobiology has made significant strides in recent decades, unveiling the remarkable potential for life beyond Earth. The discovery of exoplanets within the habitable zone of their respective star systems, where conditions may support liquid water, and consequently, life as we know it, ignites hope for advanced civilizations. The sheer number of exoplanets detected so far suggests that the universe may harbor a plethora of habitable worlds, increasing the chances of advanced life forms emerging and thriving. As we gaze at the night sky, we are essentially peering into the past, 
as light from distant stars and galaxies takes millions or even billions of years to reach us. This concept of cosmic timescales is crucial when considering advanced civilizations. While human civilization has flourished for a mere fraction of the Earth's history, other civilizations may have arisen and advanced long before us. The vastness of the cosmos and the potential for civilizations to evolve over millions or billions of years imply the possibility of highly advanced extraterrestrial societies existing in the universe. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence actively seeks signals or evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth. Through radio telescopes and other advanced technologies, scientists scan the cosmos, listening for potential communications from distant civilizations. The absence of conclusive evidence thus far does not discount the existence of advanced civilizations, but rather highlights the vastness of space and the challenges associated with interstellar communication. It is conceivable that other civilizations may have developed alternative means of communication that we have yet to comprehend. The existence of advanced civilizations raises important ethical and technological considerations. As our own technological advancements progress, we face ethical dilemmas and questions about the potential impact on our society and environment. Similarly, advanced civilizations may have encountered similar challenges or even found solutions to mitigate them. Understanding how other civilizations have navigated these issues could provide valuable insights for our own civilization's sustainability and development. Elon Musk has long been fascinated with consciousness. One of the greatest mysteries of science and philosophy is consciousness, the state of being aware and capable of thought. Despite considerable advancements in neuroscience and cognitive science, consciousness remains largely enigmatic. The primary challenge in understanding consciousness is its subjective nature. Unlike other scientific phenomena that can be objectively measured or observed, consciousness is intrinsically personal and introspective. It encompasses not just cognition, but the phenomenological experience of being, our sensations, thoughts, emotions and perceptions that are inherently private. This leads to what philosopher David Chalmers calls the hard problem of consciousness. How does physical activity in the brain give rise to these subjective experiences? Another challenge arises from the sheer complexity and interconnectedness of the brain. The brain consists of approximately 86 billion neurons and an estimated 100 trillion connections, forming a vast network of interactions. While neuroscience has mapped various regions of the brain to specific functions, understanding how these interconnections give rise to conscious experience is a formidable task. This issue is compounded by our limited ability to non-invasively monitor neural activity in real time. Current scientific methodology further complicates the study of consciousness. Traditional science relies on reproducibility and the third-person perspective, observing phenomena from an external point of view. However, consciousness is an inherently first-person experience, and each individual's conscious experience is unique. This discrepancy between the nature of consciousness and the methodologies used to study it creates significant barriers to understanding. Moreover, consciousness is not binary, but exists on a spectrum. It encompasses various states, including wakefulness, sleep, dreaming, and altered states induced by meditation or substances. This fluidity and diversity add layers of complexity to its study. Similarly, defining and quantifying consciousness remains a significant challenge. Various scales and measures have been proposed, but none can fully capture the intricacy of conscious experience. Another aspect of the puzzle is the evolutionary purpose of consciousness. While it's widely accepted that consciousness must confer some evolutionary advantage, identifying that advantage is challenging. Some theorists propose that consciousness allows for advanced problem-solving, social interaction, or the ability to simulate future scenarios. However, these skills are not exclusive to humans, yet we seem to possess a level of consciousness that is qualitatively different from other species. Finally, the integration of consciousness studies across multiple disciplines poses a significant challenge. Consciousness straddles the domains of neuroscience, psychology, philosophy, and even quantum physics, among others. Each of these fields approaches the subject from a different perspective, with distinct methodologies and conceptual frameworks. This diversity, while valuable, makes it difficult to integrate findings into a unified understanding.
So, what do you make of Elon Musk's comments? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.